So a few years ago, after we drove off after an event that we had, a wedding that we were giving at the end of the season, my daughter turned to me and said, you know, Dad, this is pretty easy. We're actually getting kind of good at this. And I, I couldn't agree more. We, were, we actually were. Forno Bova is a mobile food uh, pizza company. We use a wood-fired oven on wheels to make pizza and serve it hot and fresh where it's wanted for groups of up to 200 people. Now this all got started in 2009 when I was working in Tampa for my day job. And I had these long weeks of travel and I saw a place called Wood Fire something pizza. And so I went in there because I'm, I'm interested in anything like that. And I uh, started becoming a regular there and I talked to the owner there. We spent a lot of time talking about uh, pizza and his ovens and his process and how he started getting into business. And I wanted an oven. So then I heard about mobile ovens because there was a guy in Dallas who was making pizza and he had a company called Connie Russo when he was on a mobile. He, he was on the big circuit for going around different wineries and he had a really big following of people. And so I went to go visit him and he showed me all around. It was so cool. He did great stuff. Then I started um, investigating and I actually visited a lot of different places, including uh, I went to Boulder to take a lesson in uh, running a wood fired pizza business. And that was really cool. I was really hooked and I thought it would be a lot of fun. I wanted to see how to do it, uh, but I need, really wanted a mobile oven now, but they're kind of hard to get. But I got into a wood-fired interest group on Facebook. These things exist, believe it or not. <laughs> and I saw a guy who uh, bought this oven at the beginning of his season and I thought, man, that thing is so cool. It's, it's tough. It's got iron and it's ironclad and, and it's just built like a tank and I said, I want that. So I finally ended up getting the oven and uh, I had an oven in October of 2012, but now I needed to figure out what I was doing with the oven and it was a little difficult because I, I didn't know, well, see, I've got this maybe problem, issue, interest thing. I've got a big family. <laughs> So we had to make it work with the whole family. Uh, my wife said I couldn't just go off and do these things. So I really wanted a place to, to where we could work and we could find out about how, you know, it would just be a really interesting thing for the kids to learn and me to learn how to be an entrepreneur. So I learned a few things and here's some things that I wanted to say. Try something. So to make this work, we had to make pizza not just in our driveway, but we actually had to go out to places. We had to figure out how to pack everything up. This was at my son's uh, high school. We fed the stagehands who were getting ready for a show or getting ready after a show. And then I started feeling around on Twitter for the loudest pizza lover in the area. Uh, maybe you know Philip. <laughs> And uh, I hooked up with him and so we ended up doing a party for him and Allison at, at the summer location. It was just wonderful and they built our website and took a lot of pictures for us. Fix your mistakes. This was a festival that we did. I don't know what you think about it, but I think it looks terrible and cluttered and we were set up on a hill. I can't believe we sold out that day because I can't believe anybody would buy from us. But <laughs> we did, they did and it worked and we sold out, but we needed to get better at it. So then the other lesson I would say is just hook up with your community, find out what's cool. This is Food Struck One and nobody had any idea of that thousands of people would stand in line for this crazy food truck event, but they did. And we went and served pizza for many people until I ran out of cheese because it was, you know. Always improve, uh, or let's say grow your skills. My daughter Charlotte here uh, started out by just scooping up the dough out of the tray and, and you know stretching a little bit and setting it down. She didn't really have any skills, but she built on those skills by just doing that and eventually she was stretching and now she's basically the, the best uh, stretcher, one of the best stretchers we have. This is Food Strut 2, always improve. Now you can see at this event, in my, in my mind, we're looking much more professional. We got coats, my, my wife picked out the coats and the aprons and everything and we started to look more professional and that's just, you gotta keep on red, going around and improving. So here's an event that we did. Um, this is to highlight catering. We found out about catering and we started doing these events for weddings. This is a rehearsal dinner. Actually, the uh, middle person there is uh, my nephew who came in to help us. And, and we just got better at doing these things and working hard. 
Let me also just say that if you're thinking about a family-run business, kids can do it. This uh, was an event where I set up the thing, we got the oven in place, we went and did it, and then I walked away and I let my twins make all the pizzas for this small um, party. And they did great, and in fact, this family hired us two other times. This is uh, a place, to, and the other great thing is, pizza will take you places. This is one of our very favorite venues. It's two hours north, which is like, whoa, that's a lot. But it is so beautiful, it's called the Pump House, and we're actually going back there three more times this year, I just figured out. But so many times I've just been driving across the countryside going, I never would have seen this if it wasn't for this adventure. So my formula is to embrace who you are. We're a big family, we make pizza. We make pizza uh, just the way you want it, and, and we have the energy and the time and the talent to, that we've gained through years of experience and practice. I love making people pe happy with pizza. I mean, you know, look at this picture. I mean, the fact that they would take this picture and then actually send it to us is just amazing. <laughs> this is uh, an official f photographer for the wedding. And so I just love that. And then uh, there's also, uh, my daughter turned this into a little ad for us, so this is another uh, pizza thing. <laughs> so I had a chance to talk to this bride. I'm like, why did you hire us? What did she say? I'm from New York and I like pizza. So, you know, so it's hard work making pizza the way we like pizza, but it's so worth it because you get a chance to meet so many people. Thank you.